Aries. Let's get straight into it. This is going to be for November 25th until the 27th. Any information you're looking for will be listed in the description. And let's start with the messages from your spirit guides. And then I'm going to do a full on spread like we always do. So what's the energy surrounding my Aries? What's the healing mantra that they need to hear for November 25th through the 27th? Aries. What's the healing mantra for them? So we have asking for angelic support. As the healing mantra and the back of this card reads my angels respond when i am open and authentic about how i feel mm. so this is making sure that you're not brushing off your feelings during this time frame and ignoring how you may even be thinking subconsciously and with this card this is making sure that you're not just relying on yourself to just make it through situations that may be challenging or difficult. A lot of times you need support from your, um, from your angels, your spirit guides, the universe, God, whatever you believe in. It's just a matter of us thinking that we're strong enough to handle trauma or challenges. And some challenges we're just not strong enough to handle. So praying, it's something I would definitely recommend if you haven't really taken the time to really pray in a long time. This would be an awesome time for you to get back into to speaking your mind via your prayers and asking for angelic support. Let's keep going. A lot of you may not even realize it, but your spirit guides may be behind a lot of things that you're experiencing now, assisting you towards learning certain lessons that you may be just not getting at the moment or lessons that you may not be seeing as lessons, but maybe just seeing as delays. Okay, so let's get deeper into this. The first card is going to represent the present energy. I have the Ten of Wands. So this is you coming to a point of completion where there's an acknowledgement of you going through certain stress or anxiety with certain people, places, or things, right? <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. With the Ten of Wands being here, though, this is a point of completion. Right after the Ten of Wands, we go right back to the Ace of Wands. So where you guys have felt overwhelmed, just having a lot on your plate, this is triggering you to either step into a new way of doing things or where you've been overwhelmed with like the same results or same energy. This is like triggering you to kind of get back on your, like I said, a game. OK, why is the 10 of wands here as the present energy? You may have a lot of like business related stuff that you may have to take care of. OK, Black Friday may have you beat <laughs> if you're a business owner. Yeah, the justice card in reverse. So there could be like some legal stuff that you could be stressed out about. Um, this could be like people around you who are going through some legal issues and you're like stressed out for them. Or there's like a karmic relationship that's around you that you're feeling overwhelmed with. You feel like this relationship is throwing you off your balance. It's making it to where you're not as focused as you need to be. And you could be feeling like, well, I need to get this the heck away from me because it's throwing me off of the balance that I have. OK, at work, you could be feeling like you're doing most of the work and that your business partner or the person that you work closely with at work may not be supporting you. So you could be feeling some type of way with that as well. But recent past energy with the full card, this is a new approach you guys were adapting to. You guys may have been in higher spirits as well. Um, this is you also like, okay, usually I would see this full card as like being someone who's naive or somebody who is not paying attention to all the details and kind of just walks themselves into a bad situation. But this feels like more so you assessing the risk associated with a certain decision here that may have been the exact reason why it was taking you so long to make a certain decision 
which is so not like Aries at all. You guys are definitely the type to act on things that you feel led to do. And it may be more so immediate, but there were some huge decisions with this two of wands that you had to make in your recent past that you were really pacing yourself with just jumping out there and, and going on a whim. Okay, this could have been like you trying to decide on whether or not you're going to move to a different state. If you're going to revamp a business, if you're going to do this, if you're going to do that. But a lot of you were getting your mojo back nonetheless when it came to your recent past. And um, you could have been slightly pissed with someone because it's like you felt like you were just putting yourself out there on the line and being open to starting something new and fresh. But this person could have been playing a level of games. And you may have kind of distanced yourself from this person. This could have been another fire sign. That's what I do see. It could be any other sign, but I do see a lot of fire energy with that. Now, near future, okay, we have the emperor. So this is actually the card for Aries, but this is you taking full control of the actions that you take, what you give energy to, this is you basically focusing on the structure, the stability that you have in your life, like overall trying to manage the hoopla that may be going on in your life. Um, something with a father figure may come up as well. There may be a conversation with this father figure after a long time of not hearing from them. Whether this is your father, the father of your children, something with that. But this is you being in control where somebody thought that they had control over you. You really got control over them. Joke's on them. Okay. Why is the emperor here? Nine of swords. So this is you conquering the energy of like anxiety, worry. This is you coming to a point to where you're realizing that those feelings don't really help. When it comes to what you need to do. And. Hmm. You guys are choosing to describe. You guys are not describe. You guys are choosing to subscribe to a different way of viewing things and, and feeling things. On purpose. To be in higher spirits. Now, Aries, what's the advice for you with the sun card in reverse? If you have a Leo individual in your life, please keep this person at a distance. This person is bound to cause you to be under some stress, some anxiety, some worry. So please keep this person at a distance. OK, I don't care who this is. This person is causing you a lot of stress. Um, this is also making sure that you're not slipping back into a space of depression just because everything doesn't go your way, okay? Every little thing is not gonna go your way. Don't think that the universe is conspiring against you because that's not the case at all, okay? Um, spirit just maybe protecting you from things. I also see, yeah, spirit is saying like, stay on the right track, stay on the right track or stay in tune with your game plan. Some of you have like a plan or a strategy to get to certain goals or certain things that you want to accomplish. And in order to get there is by staying diligent. OK, not taking off days or, you know, deciding that, oh, today I'm not going to, you know, focus on that right now. This is making sure you're staying. Staying aware. As well, beyond that. Yeah, and then if you're dating somebody who has children with someone else, yeah, I'm staying away from them too during this time frame may be a benefit because that looks like a very conflicting situation that you may get sucked into. But <laughs> the possible challenge, I do have the Seven of Swords. So this could be like things being kept from you or someone like avoiding you in a sense. Or being sneaky? Why is the Seven of Swords here in the challenge position? Somebody isn't really presenting themselves as who they really are. Or somebody's being avoided when it comes to certain conversations. Hmm. This could be infidelity in a marriage. 
some sneaky stuff going on at your job where they're like cutting your hours or making it seem like it's a whole big thing inside their company that they have to like start cutting people, but that's not true. I'm hearing like hierarchy. Is that the word I want to use? Yeah, hier hierarchy at your job or something. Some sneaky stuff going on there. Hmm. This could also be like somebody purposely avoiding committing to a relationship because they are like, I don't know, in their mind, keeping themselves from getting too serious into something that falls apart, like how something in their past may have been for them. Hmm. But mainly I'm seeing like avoidance or like some sort of sneaky energy with somebody. Especially if they're an air sign. But outcome with the judgment card. This is you making a final decision. And you also coming to a point of like epiphanies I'm hearing. This is epiphanies in regards to other people. But then also yourself. Okay. Especially things that may have caused disappointment in your life. This is you having an epiphany of oh well. Dang, I was doing this, 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 and this. So I could see how that caused that to be a disappointment. Or, well, this person is emotionally immature. And like you're starting to realize that. And you could be disappointed that, you know, you had higher hopes for certain people or certain situations. But something has to give. Something has to change here. And if not changing, then you have to separate yourself completely from the energies. So this is what I see. Um, I also see you guys coming <clears throat> to a point of realizing exactly what you can do to keep yourself out of running into some tower situations moving forward. It's just you may be struggling with the fact that you're not communicating with someone towards the end of this time frame, especially if they're a water sign or air sign. But this is it, Aries. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you took something from it and I'll see you later.